I think the three areas we've tried to put uh, emphasis on are RBI situations offensively and uh, trying to firm up the back end of our bullpen. And then I think the key component for us is how we're going to react defensively, try to feel the ball a little bit better than we have in the last several years. And I think a lot of emphasis has been put on those three phases of the game. Um, I think the tangible thing that we have is I think the guys in that locker room have continued to give a great effort day in and day out, uh, which will, again is great leading up to the season. Uh, we've just got to carry that you know, as we enter next weekend down at Wofford and see how far we can take that. I think as I said a year ago, I think both Ethan and Jack have done a tremendous job. Um, kind of get after it every day, you know, lead by example. Are not necessarily the most, most vocal people in the world, but I think their body language and their positive attitude they bring and their work ethic and, you know, they're guys you can count on every day, which is, again, is going to hopefully create a better environment, which has created a better environment in our locker room and, and it's, you know, it's, it's infectious and that's what we need. I think the three, again, what we're trying to do is firm up our back end, our bullpen area, but certainly with, with Sean Poppin and Nick Runer and Tander Anderson and Matt Timoney, TJ Lorsch, Nick Scahill, and some others, we've got some experience. Um, you know, we're trying to bring our first year guys, uh, try not to throw them into the fire too quick. And I think, you know, Coach Zandler's done a great job developing them. Uh, not only with their pitchability, but just how they approach the mental part of the game. So for, you know, um, Dylan Coombs and Noah Zabalas and Ian Miller and, and Garrett Rupp, um, they're going to have to be a factor for us. But we need to solidify the whole staff. Um, you know, the back end for us has been a priority. Um, I think we've got good front end pitching with, with Pop and Gruner. And uh, it's really how we decide to use uh, Tanner Anderson, he's healthy, um, you know, the sky's the limit for him. Well, you know, we just want to play a little bit better on the back end. Um, again, our RBI situations offensively need to increase. Uh, we have numerous chances. And it, again, it goes back to a thought process, trying to keep a positive frame of, frame of reference at the plate. Um, and I think that's one thing that we've done a better job with, but we need to take it from a batting practice cage situation onto a normal diamond situation. And the same holds true with every facet of the game. We've got to eliminate the, the mental mistakes. Um, we've got to pick the ball off the turf a little bit better and basically play catch. But, um, you know, I think this group has grown a little bit. Uh, our younger kids, our first year players, and even our sophomores, you know, from when we had practice back in the fall, um, have trained well. Um, you know, I think the key to everybody across the country is the health. And we certainly got our share of little nicks and things that we're a little bit concerned about but you know if we can get healthy and stay healthy and and play within ourselves um, you know i think you know we've got a chance hopefully to be in something towards the end of the year